Hello, this is Skix. Thought I'd do a little tour around some of the various things I've been doing lately. Now this server is the We Play Minecraft server. Apparently they're having some issues uh, with their um, hosting. So there's a chance this will disappear. And because this is a thing that happens, I thought I would at the very least do my best to record some of what I've been creating on this server before it does disappear. And one day I may start my own server because this just seems like too common an experience. So I'm going to start here from the uh, Looks like we've settled on WEPM 666AM, the squid. We had a conversation about what the uh, call letters are. That seems to be what was agreed upon. We're now broadcasting. We're going to play... There we go. That's a little weird. It looks like it had... Uh, Double records in it. Sorry, my FPS is low as usual. Come on. Come on. Wake up. Oh, for crying out loud. If there's any lag at all, I can't get the, the double space bar to, to fly. And there we go. Come on. Update properly. There we go. So there's a flashing red light on the top of the tower. Was it all that was about? Um, but because I get a bit laggy, I made sure to have a switch to turn it off. It's powered by a hopper clock. Uh, down here is small hospital. With a fountain that can be turned off. Very simple. Nothing too complicated here. Some offices, some wards, a shorn sheep, for some reason, is in the hospital. Got a basement with nothing in it. Turban X has joined the game. I don't know who that is. And then the upstairs is unfinished, except for the carpeting. I love carpeting because then I, I can plant light fixtures in the ceiling, and then not have light fixtures. I can have light fixtures in the field, ceiling and not have to have, you know, glowstone in the floor. Uh, here's the high school, which I believe I did a tour of elsewhere. But I recently took a lot of my videos down because the, um, the music was getting it flagged, and since YouTube has decided to be a butthead about that, I decided... I would just delete everything that it flagged, even though some of it was, like, a little memorial montage of when my dad died, with some of his favorite music, but having that on my channel made certain things not allowed. That's our theater. Loosely based on Oxford Hills High School in Norway, Maine, or South Paris, Maine. It's right on the border. Cafeteria, can you see what the colors are? 
very loosely based. One of our um, visitors on this server uh, said that she was actually uncomfortable wandering around here. There's a chicken in the locker room. Because it reminded her of a school. This server, I am probably the oldest player. We've got folks as young as 11 or 12, a lot of teens and 20s. Why are you in the trash can? So I did the mirror trick where I, I did the rooms as mirror images of each other with glass wall between. And the, uh, the white stained glass looks to me a bit more like a mirror than uh, the theoretically clear stained glass does. Okay, so. Front of the high school, across the street, is a post office. I didn't label any of the buildings. The idea was that it was up to me to design it in a way that made it clear what it was. I hope the cubby holes and the, uh, the mailboxes out front make it pretty clear. Grocery store. Stop. Spooky sound. There's actually a ravine under the town <laughs> that I, I sort of covered over with grass. Back of the grocery. Up. And kind of between them is this little motel. There's the check in. And then all the rooms are identical, more or less, mirrored across the hall. And let's fly again. We've got this little thing, little path. I love the grassless dirt. Love, love, love. So that goes off into the woods and leads to the uh, this little logging camp. My plan for this town was to design a murder mystery or a murder mystery series. Um, and this was definitely going to be one of the places to find a body. <laughs> Gas station, the garage doors I'm kind of proud of, a bit of oil spilled on the pavement. And the sleazy bar, the original plan was that there would be an upscale bar at some point as well. I kind of did straw bales as a nod to sawdust strewn flooring, I don't know. Mystery Shack, um, kind of a nod to Gravity Falls, so it's the A-frame with a little side wing. It's not furnished yet, because the server seems to be dying. I guess I'm not going to finish this one either, and this tower actually I built before I started the town. My plan was to expand the town down that way. Let's see, there's this little cabin. There's a fireplace, we got the bridge. Uh, the diner. The one it's based off is called Shaner's in Norway, Paris, Maine. <sighs> see, another thing the lag does is it does that double click. You click once and it registers twice. Makes it hard to go through doors. Lag. Uh, I'm hoping, since the uh, the new server is at a new IP and through a new host, that it uh, will have better connection. Uh, not to say that it's necessarily the server's fault. Um, and in all fairness, the, the number of entities I, I use here is quite a lot, because I use a lot of paintings and signs and um, these uh, gimmicked... Uh, redstone lanterns that are always on through the use of an arrow and a pressure pad. And the arrow is an entity. Uh, 
town hall. We'll just look at the outside because that's also mostly unfurnished. And this church. I like the new stained glass, but it's not bright, vibrant colors in the in the standard texture pack. It's not neither bright nor dark. It's it's all kind of a pastel-y version. That's the town so far. It's probably as much as, as is going to happen. God. Oh, I hate that. And someone made a head of, of a thing. Which... I don't know if that's a Pokemon thing. So there's the town. Um, also, in the original town, uh, in the original, the... High school serves many, many towns, which is why there's such a large school for such a small town. Uh, and there's also the track uh, for the school. Uh, and down behind the track is another location for murder. <sighs> Unimaginative neighbors, honestly. part of my previous build. Anyway, this was all built on creative. The the tower and this bit were all done on uh, survival before the permissions got updated. Alright, so there's that. In single player, uh, I want to show you... Uh, the music's kind of fun. Uh, let's see. Really, the map is lagging, or the menu? So the large play map I was creating has been some renewed interest. Alright. Cool, I'm at the start point. So I honestly don't know the end result is going to be for this. I, I've had some new ideas. Um, a lot of things have entered the game since this. Um, but, you start here, in the back of the bus. And I had to uh, drop the level a bit because you have to have uh, a solid block to spawn on next to a bed. So the, the, the starting point, you spawn out of this bed. You wake up in the back of the bus in the town of South Haven. You get out there, and here's the depot. And the idea is you go into the depot, you explore, we'll have a map, and um, I put a few decorative vines in, but they've kind of taken over. Got a little water cooler that's out of order. It's raining. Um, and through hints that I have not yet placed, you will go to the monument at the center of town with the proper texture pack. This will look more appropriate. And this will have the town's founding fathers, or the founding families, rather. And you press this button. Ah, it worked. It's a fairly old mechanism. And in there is... stop. And there is gonna be a, a book describing, you know, in this case, goodness, Walton, that's your family's name. Do I have family in here? Um, and throw some hints that uh, direct me to go exploring the town to north, east, south, or west. My original plan was to do four different stories. Uh, when I got to trying to create the randomizer, uh, down below, I got really kind of overwhelmed, uh, so I cut it down to two, and now with command blocks, I probably could uh, do it much more simply. But if we go, say, in this direction, uh, we've got uh, the credit union, and in the credit union, this, and if, if I 
find a hidden key. It opens the door. Um, wait. It's been so long. No. The button for that is here. scary noise. That's all that was supposed to be for. Um, but some things work differently now than when I built them. What is this? The bookstore? So the idea is every building has um, a secret of some sort to it. A little coffee kiosk. Got this little barrier. Closed, but if you cross the bridge, you wind up over here, and there's an old folks home. Um, all of these names are either character names uh, from books or movies or people from my past. Um, so old folks home, across the street from funeral home. The trestle bridge. There's the funeral home, which I think turned out rather nicely. If you go behind the funeral home, little stairs. We've got the morgue area with the, the gutters. Um, that's going to look like a drain. This door. I think... I don't remember what triggers the door. Tunnel that goes. So these are some bits of the town to the. What do you call it? The crematorium. The train trestle goes around the town, and there's a train up there somewhere. Turn truck. There's the train. Obviously, the train makes 90 degree corners. Because it is still Minecraft. I suppose I could have done one on a diagonal, but this is a much bigger pain in the butt than it even needed to be. So, uh, part of the action can, uh, for one of the stories, takes place up here on, uh, in the train. Oh man, that's long. See, I built all this ages ago using uh, single player commands. Now a lot of the stuff from single player commands is is built into the regular game. This is uh, in the story. It's my aunt's house. I can't remember. Honestly, I can't remember enough of the story to be able to recreate it because I built the sets. I built the um, the sets, but I didn't put the the plot stuff in yet. The books and signs. Of an apartment complex. This is 
Dave Sauna, which is an actual place in South Paris, Maine. And there's a bud switch uh, there that would open the back doors, and I'm pretty sure the bud switch won't work anymore because Some of that functionality was lost a few updates ago. This actually reenacts part of the dream. But you go through there to get around the barrier. Uh, part of the story is the city's being overtaken with vines and plants, and that I use those to create the various barriers. Here's a, a bar, Funky Red Barn, named after a barn in Bethel. Station, little churchy poo, little attempt at a lopsided ape, at a, you know, kind of an A-framey sort of building, car place, grocery, got the uh, police station, and the vines have taken over. Um, the uh, fire station. Part of the mechanism here is there's a door you need to get into that opens only in case of emergency. And you can set off the, uh, the fire alarm here. Uh, but some of that functionality has failed as well. So I hit the alarm. sounded at once. <laughs> so there's a, a clock or something up there that's broken. I'm pretty sure it doesn't open the door. Come on, fly. Yep. Oh, it did open the door. Cool. And then... Oh, this is the one... Go ahead and trigger it. Which gives you access to the other side of the building. Which you need to get to for gaining of information purposes. shop, which I've got things on tracks and it's making the sound even though it's not moving. I don't know why that is. And the uh, Golden Apple Gallery's got something. Let's see if this is broken. Part of the story is the incursion of alternate realities. It worked. So this is a recreation of that same building, except upside down. Now, an important question is, why, why does there seem to be a villager in here? How, how did a villager come to be in this nether area? I don't know. something to find in here in the inverted dream realm version. And, uh, that goes off to the lake. So I've seen parts of the town. The um, All four stories eventually lead to the same destination, though. Grand River that runs through it. Got a couple other buildings. You're gonna remember these were, were built with a texture pack in mind. So these won't all look exactly right. And 
this was uh, pre-stained glass, I might just make a st proper stained glass. So eventually all paths will, one way or another, wind up on this road. Because all four or two stories uh, wind up the destination in the Grand Hotel, which is the name of the map. The town in South Haven. I actually started them as two separate maps and decided that they should be the same map. And using uh, single player commands, pasted. Did some copy pasting. some swamps before swamps existed, that sort of thing. Uh, the um, These are my invisible block in the texture pack I'm using. So you wind up arriving here at the Grand Hotel, and this is new chapter. Once you're here, there's no way out. Except that I probably have some lost uh, vines, and you can escape. Because I haven't escape proofed it. I've got goodies hidden all over and under the bridge. And there's the Grand Hotel. There's a map of the maze. There's a hedge maze. That's uh, clearly going to be a nod to the Shining. Got a couple of those. I've got some videos of, of, of where things go from here. I'm just going to scoot ahead a little bit. Uh, this was to be the... This is going to fail because it's based on a bud switch. Yeah. So all of my locks will have to be redone that I use that form of bud switch on. Music's a little loud, huh? So the three copies of this. side. Let's have some lag, please. Where did the bat come from? Ugh. That is so irritating. There we go. Thing that's part of a puzzle. Um, oh. This big pentagram thing is part of a puzzle. of um, material swapping. There's the motel on the other side. Then... It's gotta be irritating to watch, guys. I'm sorry.
this area. Which is sort of like a, a dream amalgamation of, of a few different uh, parts of the map. Like these doors, some of them open, some of them don't. But the ones that open go into something that's often a variation or a corruption. Part of the building, or I'm sorry, part of the map that already exists. Right. Oh. Right. Right. See, in every update, this placement changes just enough. So now suddenly I'm three blocks under the floor of the room that I built for you to spawn in, which is frustrating. And you got this tunnel back into the basement of the hotel, this version of the hotel. Pseudo maze thing going here. And you're out here. And those pumpkins don't look like pumpkins. And then we've got the giant clock puzzle. I'm actually pretty pleased with. You need to uh, get the clock going to get access to different parts of the, the building. I've got... Oh, I bet it doesn't work. A proper... Um, It doesn't reset, because I wasn't that clever. But I might use uh, um, a command block elevator. Killed the dragon, so we don't have to worry about that. Well, it's kind of just a shadowy presence, the, uh, the thing. So once you solve various puzzles and fight your way through various challenges, you get to the end portal in the end, which always ends the same. And I believe there's a way to change the, the text for that final scrolly.
usual squirrely. So an elder and I spawn in the bus. So there's that. What else? That's it. That's what I've been up to. So I've got the Grand Hotel, which has a lot of work. And I'm tempted to just start over and possibly use MC Edit to, to copy and paste some of the, the parts of it. Uh, the big thing I was creating on the server looks like it's going to go away at the end of the month. <sighs> Which is really frustrating, because I, I, I made a very nice town there. The, um, the new server... has nothing on it. Everyone's nice, and everyone makes nice things, and it's a great server, but it's so frustrating. Every time I build a large thing, something happens to the server. Oh, I'm not in creative mode anymore. I'm having kind of a down day. This is bumming me out. So, I'm going to finish recording, and I might upload it. We'll see how long this wound up being. <laughs>